that low. Wake up. Come on, Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <sighs> You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. You had a rough night, Jackie. You've been skipping out on your meds again, bud. Uh-uh, we've been through this, Jackie. No answer means, no, I didn't take my medicine. You're gonna get me in trouble with Dr. Vic again. Hello, Jackie. Jackie, good to see you up and around. <sighs> Vinny? I, I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast, and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. But they're rewriting us all. Even you. I'm not even supposed to be here. Calm down, Mr. Walker. Out of boy, Jackie. What the fuck is happening to me? some displacement therapy with him. I'll set something up. Let me know if he gets back on the cycle. Okay. Hi, yes. I'm concerned. I'm calling for the results of those neuropsychological tests we ran on Adolf. I was just wondering if anything seemed immediately noticeable. Okay. According to the evaluation, mm -hmm. he had a problem with his white cell count. Wouldn't that suggest a more atypical approach? We'll take regular samples. Assuming he stays the course, we'll try to restart his therapy. He'll be encouraged once he gets back into the program. I'll speak to his therapist. People always see value in what they don't understand. They always see value. That's why we went to the moon. Hey, Jackie. I got that thing you wanted. It's big. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? That's what I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jackie? It's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. Au revoir, arrivederci, and goodbye. Is it morning already? Dolfo, what the fuck's going on here? What I really want to do is paint. Well, not you too. I want a cigarette. All right, so let me get this straight. He says he lives in a big mansion kind of but place. But I already had a nap. Tony, please, tell me you know what the fuck is going on here. 
Lima beans are spies. Fuck me. I think he's the one. He's not the one. The eyes are too close together. No, I'm not. Come on! Tell me something. Anything. We're working on a plan to escape this place disguised as a Band-Aid. Yeah, but we're not sure if we can pull it off. Thanks for nothing. Is that Are it? you the Apple guy? How are you today, Jackie? You should really remember to take your medication. Bye-bye now. Dr. James is waiting, Jackie. But... you died. Well, I'm clearly feeling better. Come on. Go in and talk to Dr. James. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Frank. Frank, I'm so sorry about Eddie. Oh, you mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Go on over there, all right? It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Don't stress out, don't stress out. Jimmy. Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please, have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jack? I'm not crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping okay, me here! Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset, but I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie.
so glad you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two! What the fuck is happening? Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be all right. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you? That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell, and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes, but it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But... my family, my, my friends... the darkness... Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right, and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Code white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. <clears throat> Let go oh, of me! God. Come on. You were doing All right, so here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! Go. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get Power back here, people. Jackie! Head for the bunker! Tell Eva I will be late! He must have ate some prunes. He's running for the door! Jackie, get back here! Oi, this way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but... Uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh... uh Jackie, uh... I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all going to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chased them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul, and it wants these Brotherhood Jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball, it says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands is not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what, what if, uh, what if she isn't even real? Mm? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my aunt Sarah's funeral. 
then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing! Think. Think, think, think. God damn it, I can't think straight. about your day. I'll find out what I can. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way. Hiya, Jackie. Good to see you back. Those fucking weirdos tried to drag you off. But we were able to turn them around after you took so many of them out. We just couldn't get Dan Sarah in time. Frank, I'm sorry about Eddie. You did the right thing, boss. Nothing else you could have done. We're gonna take care of his wife, though, right? Of course. We'll look after his family. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. Hey, what's up? Jackie? So, uh, I was fucked up, huh? Firefighters can say hi to everyone for me. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. The building burns I'm really sorry about what happened, Jackie. This week. Investigators believe the location may have been. Okay. Oh, thank God you there. made it, sir. The nerve of them barging into our home uninvited. And armed, no less. Hey, Jackie. How are you? Jackie, time to say goodbye. Jesus Christ! Jackie? I'm sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jackie. You go pay your respects now, Jackie. You don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. The one time Nigel finally takes me out, they destroy the place. Gonna need more than me to clean up this mess. Be well,
Boss, we're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress, biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in a hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I finally healed up, and Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did. Jackie, none of this is real. Here you go, Jackie. Come on, Jackie, let's you and me head up. The church put on a beautiful service. Yeah, they did it right, didn't they, Vinny? You bet. Top shelf all the way. Classy. A little long, but you know us Catholics like to talk. You know, boss, we're, we're all thrilled that you, uh, you know, you got your thing back, but, uh, you know, some of the boys are thinking maybe this hit has something to do with that, and, you know, well, no disrespect, but... Just spit it out, Vin. You know that ain't no one's gonna back you up more than me, Jackie. Just give the boys something to go on, okay? Well, not for nothing. You spent four days in the back room with that crazy prick Johnny when by rights you should have been dead. We just want to know what we're up against here, you know? Let's go up. People are gonna be glad to see you back in one piece, boss. I tell you, it wouldn't have been the same seeing your Aunt Sarah off without the old Jackie Estacado. Sorry for your loss, Jackie. So then some crazy fucking Lord of the Rings and SWAT gear looking motherfucker tries to drag Jackie off, right? After shooting him in the face. But we were all fucked that, and we pushed them back, and then we sent them packing. Yeah, well, we never would have made that last push if Jackie didn't take out so many of those fucking guys. What the hell happened with Jackie? You all that exorcist stuff coming out of the back room these last couple of days? You ask me, there was always something wrong there. That whole thing with the spooky shit, you know, I guarantee it had something to do with these assholes who came to the house. The guy's as crazy as his old man was, you ask me. Thank God he's on our side, you know what I mean? Holy shit, it's Jackie. I can't believe you're back. Someone's gonna pay for this, Jackie. Uh, 
I know this is a tough pill to swallow, Jackie. But she's home now, right? Buried here with the rest of your family. It's a shame Jenny wasn't buried here too, you know. She was family to you. I'm sorry she's gone. She's always with me. Jackie, I know what a terrible burden you carry, but carrying that burden is what made you strong. What'll get you through this? I want you to know I think you... That's one tough old lady, Jackie. How many times do I have to shoot her before she surrenders?
appreciate it.